If you guys love custom car audio fabrication and advancing your skills in this hobby and trade, guys, this is the show right here for you. This is the Master Tech Expo. So for those of you that watch my channel, you likely know that I work quite often with Mobile Solutions. Brian Schmidt and the team over at Mobile Solutions create tools and help make our builds a reality. But along with their tooling also comes all the in-person training events that they do. Over the years, I've been to several of these and Brian has always been a huge supporter of the channel. We've worked together to launch many new projects and tools, and about a year ago, Brian reached out to me and told me that he had an idea. So one of the challenges with Mobile Solutions having the in-person trainings at Brian's facility is they always sell out almost immediately. So Brian said, what if we go bigger, much bigger, and that's how the Master Tech Expo was born. This is the first ever Master Tech Expo, and we're currently getting started on day one of three of the event, and the mornings are starting with the education tracks. This event is focused on training and learning the latest and greatest technology and fabrication and installation methods. The trainings are focused on being hands-on, and not only that, there is a live build happening during the event. There is a ton of industry support from all the different car electronics manufacturers, and the other cool thing is that there is a ton of technology manufacturers here as well. So in this video, I wanna dive in and give you guys some insight on all the different things that are happening in this event. Everyone's starting to filter into the hall here, so we are gonna get this underway. To really understand this event, I do want to do a quick breakdown of the classes that happened here. So the way this worked is there was four different tracks that you could pick from, and you would pick two tracks. So on day one, you would go through one of the tracks, and then day two, you would go through a different set of the tracks. So the four track options were Modern Tech, School of Fab, which sold out early, and then Master Design, which also sold out, and the Business of Small Business. If we look at the modern tech track, this included fabricating subwoofer enclosures, building great car audio systems, stitchless finish work, and a deep dive into subwoofers and power. The School of Fab track had custom panel fabrication, metal craft meets plastics fab, elevated finishes and trims, and expert automotive upholstery. The master design track had the design studio with Tom Miller, the CAD Desk 2D, and in this class, this was actually Brian and myself, we taught this one, and then the CAD Desk 3D with Jeremy Carlson and Matt Vowell, and Future Fabrication, which had a variety of the different tech vendors. Finally, there were a ton of individuals that came to this show that own their own business, own their own shop, so this track was for them, Business Development 101, Building a Memorable Brand, creating a first-class operation, and legal aspects of small business. The focus of these classes was having as many live demos as possible and being centered upon the latest technology. So now that I've got you guys up to speed, let's check back into the event. I'm here with Tom. Tom just finished his first class of the day on the master design master track, design. right? So yeah, you, master you, design track. So you, what'd you do in your The design studio. We the, talked about primarily conceptualizing and sketching and, uh, and kind of the beginning phases of the design process before going into the robots. Yeah, so. yeah, it was, a, it was a good class for sure. So Brian and I are gonna be handing off from there. We'll be talking about the 2D CAD side of things and transitioning into 3D CAD, and then we have Jeremy Carlson and those guys later, so. Yeah, amazing stuff. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, awesome. So those are the classes, and the other really cool aspect of this event is the exhibition hall. So there's actually classes going on right now, that's why it's a little bit more quiet in here, and the exhibition hall is even being used as a classroom. The really cool thing about this show is all of the best car audio companies are here showing off their latest gear and their latest technology. And speaking of technology, there's also some technology companies that are here. I'm gonna have to show you guys that in just a second. So as we walk into the event here, you can see that there's a couple of different examples from some of the past Mobile Solutions classes, along with a bunch of iconic vehicles here. These all have full fabrication builds in them. Of course, after all, it is a fabrication-focused expo. One of the coolest builds is right here, Mark Fukuda's period correct blastro van. The blastro van here has all of the original gear, all of the original fabrication install. It stood up to the test of time, truly remarkable. As we walk into the show, we see some of our favorite car audio companies. We've got Audio Control here. Audio Control has a really cool demo that they set up with their DMRTA. They have one link to each corner of the vehicle. I'll explain more in detail in an independent video that we're gonna do on that here on the channel as well. There's class currently going on over there, but the Orca and Focal booth is down there. We've got MSC, tons of different companies here. As I mentioned a little bit before earlier, the other really cool aspect of this show is all the technology companies that are here. Check this out. This is a large format 3D printer from Big Rep. Could you imagine 
what we'd be able to make with that thing. Cam Master CNC is also here, and this is super cool. They even brought out a machine, and they've been helping us with the build-off, cutting some of the parts for that, and of course demonstrating the capabilities of this CNC router. So like I mentioned, classes are going on right now, and that's why you might hear some talking in the background, because there's actually a class going on in the main event hall here. These guys are currently talking all about subwoofer enclosures in depth, the design aspects, the build aspects, how to build and create some of the best sounding subwoofer enclosures with the most output. Universal Laser is also here with all of their laser equipment and Peel 3D and Creaform with their 3D scanners. And with all the stuff on the inside, we're just getting started. Let's step out the door here and let's come out here to the outside exhibit. So again, it's early in the morning right now and everyone is in class. That's why there's no one out here. Normally it's standing room only, but let's check this out, guys. Let's look at some of the different outdoor displays along with all of these different builds. JL Audio is here with five different demo vehicles, and we're actually gonna be checking out that blue Cadillac over there in its own independent video because the build in this, guys, is incredible. In the Rockford Fosgate outdoor display, they've got the pressure chamber van, they've got Brent Levitt's Astro van. I got a chance to sit with him in this yesterday. This build, also incredible, absolutely slammed, sounds super good, well done, Brent. So that's the event hall. Like I said, it's currently day number two. I have to head on over back to one of the classrooms for a session that I'm teaching in about half an hour here but later today we have the build off so let's talk about that next so the build off was conceptualized by brian tom and the rest of the team and the idea here was what if we took two teams and had them compete live against each other building against the clock many of the different classes in the event were focused upon building different aspects of this scaled down trunk build for an impala You'll notice the trunk build has two quarter panel inserts, one on each side, and then a center insert that would go in front of something like a subwoofer enclosure. So there were four teams total, and each day, two of those teams would go head to head, and one team had to build the quarter panel sides, and the other team had to build the center. To decide who got to build what, there was actually a coin toss between each of the two teams at the welcome event at the start of the show. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get much footage during the build-off event because I was actually the MC while the event was going on. I basically gave a play-by-play -play describing each of the different things that everyone was doing, and I think this added a cool sports-like element to the build-off. So the build-off is going on live right now. I just thought I'd take a quick little bit of footage. The teams are building as fast as they can. They only have four hours, which is a lot of work to get done in four hours. I think they're going to pull it off though. Right now we currently have, let's see, about two hours remaining. So they've got a lot to get done. So keep in mind, each of these panels was built by only three guys in four hours. Not only that, they were done on stage. So not even in a professional shop, just what we had available at the expo. I think that these turned out absolutely amazing. And you'll notice there's a little number down in the corner because I want to hear from you guys, which panel was your favorite? And if you're wondering why each of these has a Rockford Fosgate logo on it, Rockford Fosgate was the official sponsor of the build-off, so a shout out to them for supporting this idea. At the event, all the attendees of the show were able to choose their award for the People's Choice Award, and then there were four other awards that were awarded to the teams. I found this to be such a cool and unique aspect of the show, having all these guys going head-to-head -head on the different teams building live. It was so cool, but what else did people have to say about the show? Hey guys, so I'm here with Brent Levitt really quick. Brent, many of you guys may recognize him. That was his Astro van that we saw earlier outside. Brent, what do you think of the show so far? Oh, it's amazing. There is everybody who's anybody in the car audio world is here, and a lot of them are teaching classes, so it's an amazing opportunity. Like, you won't ever attend an event like this with so many high-level builders. Yeah, dude, I, I totally agree. So you got to sit through some of the classes, right? What do oh, you yeah. think about those? Yeah, it's not basic information. They're teaching, like, cutting-edge techniques that are pretty new to the industry. Like, if you are here, you are at the very cutting edge of what's going on in the fabrication world. Hey, I got to say, dude, your build, one of my favorites oh, here. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank I appreciate it. Thanks for showing it to me. It was so oh, fun, yeah. man. It was amazing that I even got to bring that here. And so far, I've, I've probably demoed 100 people at this convention. So. Yeah. It's a great time. And the cool thing, too, you know, you were telling me, like, obviously this isn't necessarily like an SPL-focused event. There's tons of people here that love it. But you were saying how it's cool to get some guys that, you know, are kind of on the other side of car audio to experience that, right? Yeah, like a, a lot of people in the industry never experience such a, a big build like that because it's not something you build for customers. So to get to experience my van, everybody's got out, like, jaw-dropped, like, <laughs> amazed, like... 
So, it, like, this experience is amazing for me. I'm, I'm lucky to be here, so. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thanks for coming out. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming out. I'm glad to see you here. Heck yeah, man. All right, guys, so I'm here with my buddy Dalton right now. Dalton, where are you from? I'm from Greenville, Mississippi. Greenville, Mississippi. And so, obviously, you're here at the Master Tech Expo. You're yep. also here as an attendee, checking out the different classes. Right. What do you think so far? Man, it's it's awesome. I always, I always tell everybody, if there's anything mobile solutions related, I don't care if you've been one time or ten times. Yeah. Always go because you're gonna you're gonna learn. Yeah, we it's, always it's epic. We always talk about the nuggets. There's always those little nuggets to pick up and grab. What what uh what educational tracks were you in here today um, or, or this week? I was in the master design class. Okay. And then so you were in one of my five. one of my classes, and then you had School of Fab as well. Yep. Who are who are some of the presenters over on the um, School of Fab side? It was Matt Schaefer and Gary Bell. Yep. And then Tracy Weaver was one of them. Okay. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Makes makes me want to do upholstery work, dude. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I had you and Brian yep. and Matt Bauer and Jeremy. Yep. Man. And Tom Miller. And Tom, yeah, and Tom, dude. Yeah. It, it we makes are, drawing so awesome. Yeah, for sure. And when, as soon as I go home, I'm firing up the laser, the 3D printer. We're, yeah. we're getting head deep in it. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thanks for coming out to the show. Yep, thanks so much. You guys, this show was so incredible, and there was so much more that I didn't really even go into on this video. Dave Kindig of Kindigit Design came out and hosted a live session along with Brian. Bill Jackson, president of Rockford Fosgate, gave a keynote presentation on the state of the industry that I found to be very interesting. And then with Mark Fukuda in attendance, along with his Blastro van, he did a super cool presentation talking about the build in the Blastro van and all of the history and behind the scenes details. I had an absolute blast at this event. It was so much fun. It was so cool to meet so many of you guys out there. And guys, I promise you, this event next year will sell out again. So if you guys are interested, definitely be sure to lock in that date and sign up as soon as possible. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And a special thanks to everyone that was part of the team that helped put this show on. And of course, all you guys that came out to the show as well. Again, I had a blast. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you in the next video.